I would like it first to thank UNWIDA for organizing this conference and for inviting the Tanzania team to, be, to, to, to present on behalf of the Tanzania team. Indeed, this is yet another example of what this tax and benefit microsmission model can do, not only in the global north, so it's in south, when it comes to issue of distribution, enhancing people welfare. And as David said earlier, this is a policy note, which is an outcome of what we have done for the first time, retreat training in Tanzania last year, where we had quite a number of people from different government departments come in different groups, and we had managed to have, I think, two or three policy notes. And one of them is this one, which is on simulating the impact of introducing an orphan child benefit in Tanzania. And uh, you can see the people are like uh, six, one from Minister of Finance, another one from Social Protection, Prime Minister Office, they are one from Minister of Health, another one from Minister of Education, and one more from the think tank, Repoa. So what I'm going to do here, in a very simple way, are only four things. A small motivation as per why often children in Portland, Tanzania, so it's global. What are the scenario we have set to simulate? what we've done, what are the findings, and at the end, what are the policy implications. So, to begin with, to begin with, we know that uh, orphan children make a big share of a global children. I mean, out of, uh, I think, two billion children, given different estimates, either by UNICEF or ILO, between 143 million, 210 are far as orphan children. And the, that is not only a global picture. When it comes to Tanzania, about 1.3 million children are regarded as orphans. And these children make about 80% of total Tanzania children. And of these orphan children, we've got both single parents and the double parents. So out of 80%, 70% are single parent orphan children while well, 1% are double parents, orphan children. And the, as you know, so am I. These are the kids who are living in a very difficult situation, actually, when it comes to issue of decent standard of living. And the, while the other people are going to school or are getting other basic things, they may end up uh, into child labor to get what is required for them. And the, maybe to give you this severity, of poverty, which is much more higher for orphan children compared to uh, the other children. In Tanzania, for instance, overall, 293 percent of children are far as poor. And of this, 30.37% uh, is, is the case for orphan children. While for the single parents, it's 28.19, and for nanny, orphan is 29. So, what I want to say in a simple way is that the state of poverty is much more higher among orphan children compared to those who are non-orphans. That is also the case when we look at the, uh, not only the poverty rate, so is the poverty gap. As well, it is 6.6% for the normal poor children. It's 8. Point, I think 83% for the orphan. So the situation is not good to them overall. So despite the the severity of poverty among orphan children or the households with the orphan children, yet in Tanzania, we don't have a comprehensive orphan children <coughs> target benefit for them. And we think doing so will have a big impact. So we have used one of well already built tax and benefit, uh, tax and benefit maximum model for Tanzania, TASMOD, version 2.8, to sort of estimate this particular program to see what will come out. So we have done what is as a hypothetical scenario, hypothetical orphan child benefit scenario, where we base on the latest household by survey of 2017-18. And the, here we have using, as in other many places, the basic need poverty that is based on consumption to compute the poverty rates, or helicopter poverty rates and the uh, poverty gaps. 
And the, we have got three scenarios here, which we are trying to simulate. Scenario number one, we only focus on the double parents often, who makes only 1%. And the, we are saying we are paying them a package of 10,000, which is equivalent to probably five, 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 five US dollar. And this is one third of the Tanzanian minimum wage. So with this scenario, which is only for very, very few kids, that the 1% it turns out it will cost Tanzania governments, whether it's taxpayers, money or donor funding program, tune of 30.3 billion Tanzania shillings. That's scenario number one. Scenario number two say we have got 80% of kids who are orphan. 70% are single parent, 1% are double parents orphan. And we give the same amounts. And this one turns out it will, end, it will be the highest in terms of the cost. It will end up being 249.8 billion Tanzania shillings. And the last one, we sort of trying to differentiate a bit because we think a kid who has a single parent is doing by far better compared to that one who has no both parents. So for those 7% who has a single parent, we just give half of that amount, 5,000 shillings, or 2.5 US dollar. And for the double orphans, we are giving them uh, 10,000 or 5 US dollar. And this one will end up uh, forcing the taxpayers to collect, to, to give out all the Minister of Finance uh, the tune of uh, 140.1 billion Tanzania shillings. So these are our three scenarios. There is the one where we say those with single parents, let them care with their business. We don't care about them. We only look for those double, double parents orphans. That is, would give you the minimum. And then that one we say, we close our eyes, we give you anybody who's orphan, whether single, double, the same amount. That will give you the highest angle. And we have the one who say, no, no. Look, those with the single parents are by far better. We only give half. And the, the double parents, we give, you, we give you the full amount. And the, that one will give you in between. So what are our key findings here? As I said before, often accounts for a notable share of the Tanzania child population. And the figure I gave earlier about the single parent, 6.97, which is 80% of the entire children population. And the 1% when it comes to double, double parent orphans of the entire children population. And what, what is that in terms of the entire Tanzania population? For the single parent orphan, it's almost 4% of the total population, while it's 0.5% for the, for the double parent orphan. orphan. So we think, and that's the essence of this simulation, we think that the introduction of orphan child benefit has potential to enhance living standard, nature, and transform the current child population into a skilled and health future labor force. In other words, in just like those who are not orphans, it's all issue of building human capital in the future. So if, it is a, if, you, don't take, if, you, if you don't take care of this orphan children, they will be let they will be left behind compared to the non-orphan. So this is a preliminary finding see, to begin with. But we go further and look what are our results telling us when it comes to ter in terms of poverty reduction, inequality reductions, and the dynamics. It originates between female-headed vis-a-vis male-headed or the, the, the household with the older people. And the, what it turns out here is that a cash transfer to orphan has a has potential to reduce poverty in Tanzania. So in these efforts to reduce poverty, it can be of two main angles. So that one will reduce poverty in Tanzania, and the, the second scenario will have much more impact. The same applies, the family will reduce a burden on the most vulnerable group of society, particularly fem female-headed households. And turns out that the female household are the one having so many kids with it with the orphan children. The impact, again, is higher for the second scenarios. So what does it say in terms of the policy implication, I'm about to close now, is that maybe it's a higher time as a country, as a government, think it introduces this particular program as far as the inclusivity is concerned and the fight against poverty. And the, the higher the amount, the higher the effects, and the, the better for the the children in the country. The, 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 the poverty rate 
my, m the poverty rate might significantly drop if a substantial amount of public fund is distributed equally to each orphan child. Asante sana. Thank you.